I'm not alone today. Nick and Jill. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it. Well, it's so nice to see the sun out again. And uh, looking over there, you can see the cloud over there. The skiddo. Massive. I don't know why he did that. Either way, I'm heading down now. I do not recommend coming up this way. This last three or four minutes, I've been crawling up on my hands and knees. Day, mate, that was steep. Man alive. And when I got to what I thought was the top, it turns out I wasn't even halfway to the top. And after all that, that's the summit. If I risked a heart attack for that, Oh yes, bring it on. <laughs> it's downhill all the way. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go too. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we go? This is Metal Man's at a belter. <laughs> She's loving it. <laughs> Let's take it first one up there and the name is Great Cock Up. <laughs> yeah, don't laugh. Driving over the moors I've been in hysterics every time I think of that. Just got myself calmed down looking at the map and the sister fell is called Little Cock Up. So that was me away again. <laughs> God, childish I know. The final two summits of the day. Meal fell and uh, Great Cock Up. Stop it. Wait a minute. <laughs> Whew. Calm yourself. So sixth and final summit of the day. Sorry, I'm going for it. Great cock up. Way! Sorry about that. Just couldn't resist it. One other thing I would never do is uh, follow my team leader of the day, Derek. Really nice lad, done a few walks with him. But we got to a scrambly section and uh, everybody was taking the right hand side. So Derek said, I'll show you the scenic route. And uh, yeah, you guessed it. Foolishly, I followed him. Dear me. We went up this little tiny gap that was covered with moss, was soaking wet. You couldn't find a handhold, you couldn't find a foothold. So we literally pulling ourselves up on our stomachs. Now, I don't know if you ever heard of the term death by cop. This was death by Derek. I have never ever been so thankful to get to the top and find a path as I was that day. So, lesson learned there. Well, I sat on the steam train to Gothland there now. Absolutely fantastic sight to see it go past. So, really looking forward to, to this journey. Ridiculous, I know. But a terrible night's sleep last night. All I could hear was my next door neighbour shouting all the time, constantly. Baggy trousers, baggy trousers, top of his voice. Baggy trousers, baggy trousers. Madness. I've had Tony Blackburn on the radio again, driving over the moors. I don't know if anybody can remember the uh, comedy series. It ain't half up, Mum. The troops out digging a trench over in India, 40 degree heat, and the wall sat shading because of the 40 degree heat. Battery Sergeant Major Williams, Welsh lad, he said, What's going on, lovely boys? <laughs> and they turned around and said, We're just shading, Sergeant Major, because of this intense heat. At which point he exploded and told them, Get out there, get them shirts off, and defy the sun. So they all had to stand up, take the shirts off, start digging the trench, 40 degree heat, lily white skin, and every time he said, defy the sun, they had to look up at the sun and say, come on, sun, do your worst. 
Absolute comedy gold. It had me laughing anyway, unintentionally. I tried to defy the sun last week on sea sandal and got burnt to a crisp. But today, I am smothered in factor 50. So, come on son, do your worst. Anyway, I better move on. If anybody thinks I've had too much sun. It's the second chat I've had. Can it have there from uh, Australia of all places? But a woman come up there, just I was coming off the top there, she sort of looked at us. She says, are you all a metal man? <laughs> I says, well, on YouTube I am. Like, uh, yeah, she says, oh, I've watched some of your videos. It's been Metal Mania today on the fells, I tell you. Now, if you know me and Mrs. Metal Man, we do not like cows. Unless we had a fence. As they should be. Yeah, they all, all matey now, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good luck. 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 Well, a bit of excitement right towards the end of the walk. Oh, there was me laughing me head up before <laughs> we saw them first cows behind a fence. Yeah, I wasn't laughing then, I'd say yeah. <laughs> we'll go for our wild camp tonight. But before the wild camp, we have to do the important things. First is have a drink and obviously have something to eat. Bring mine over for you. And there's Alan's. Look at that. Cheers. It's 20 past 10. <laughs> Thank goodness it's the longest day. I am absolutely knackered. So we're just chilling out there. I'm having a side island, having a, a rum. I'm doing a few stretches. <laughs> <laughs> Limping up. <laughs> She seems to be enjoying herself. <laughs> Having said that, when you've got views like this from your table, I mean, how nice is that? Absolutely superb. And when you wake up first thing in the morning, and that's the view you'll be enjoying. Lovely foreground. My support team hasn't arrived yet, so I'm meeting up again with Ashley Arnold and his wife. So, hard day, tough day, uh, enjoyable day, good company, and uh, may well be a late night by the time I get home. I don't know. So, for the second time in seven days, heart of fell. <laughs> when I did it last week, this was my first summit. I was blown then. A week later, this is my seventh of the day. So imagine how I'm feeling. <laughs> nine of nine. Shipping knots. Whoo! That wind. Oh man. Oh yes. It's downhill all the way there now. What a path this is down through the uh, descent of doom through them cows thank goodness they were friendly so i tell you something there's no way i could run at the moment <laughs> no matter how much i felt like it me and i really come down this way i think ashley was last seen heading in there uh, shoulder high ferns real adventure today taking in some absolutely stunning yorkshire dales countryside and we're going to see some absolutely brilliant waterfalls as well Don't ask. So, the summit of Castle Head. <laughs> uh, 
but apparently this is the main path this is the main path I would hate to see the other path so somewhere through there is where we came down from Damn me. them views unbelievable he's my team coming and that sun is trying it's hardest to get out a bit late now like we're on the way home <laughs> This has got to be one of my favourite walks in the Yorkshire Dales, this. It's fantastic. Well, somebody agrees with us. For a first ever visit to Whitby Goth Festival. Let's take it slow, where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down. So, a gaggle of us today. It had to be done. It had to be done. <laughs> Chips. I remember coming across it and thinking, thank goodness I'm not going up this way. Caught the map, I'm going up that way. <sighs> Dear me. It's a canny pull up here, mate. Whew. But it looks like the route that I've taken is directly up the hooter. The barbed wire stops there and it stops there allowing me to get over there I say allow me to get over I mean I got over it just but I'll tell you something that's my Christmas ruined Whew. and that's where I was there before Yo, as though 11 and a half miles isn't long enough I decided to go over there anything for hard work It should be a really good day. Why not come along with us? If only them lottery numbers would come up. I know they keep saying you've got to be in it to win it. I'm in it all right. I just never win it. Do me be it, touch it up. Never bothered last night. I'm, I'm in two minds whether I should just leave it like this and uh, go for the more mature look or whether I should continue dying it and uh, keep on striving for the uh, the young and pathetic look still haven't made me mind up yet it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll and i do that was from my granddaughter molly metal man big acdc fan just like her granddad for the fifth time top of elvellin the third highest summit in england Spending most of the time sat on my bum, bum shuffling down. My poor derriere is going to be black and blue by the time I get back home, I think. But, oh, that wind's getting up again. Woo! How nice is that? We're well, going back through the ferns of doom again. It's a shame Mrs. Metalman didn't come with us today. She might have if I'd missed out Rosebury Topping. So she wasn't keen on doing it again, like she said. I've already done it once. And in flip-flops as well. <laughs> Don't ask. Uh, we want to climb up that way, I think. Anyway, let's give it a go. Oh, damn me. I think this is the right way. Either way, that's where I'm heading. Well, that was fun getting up there. So got to go there, yes. Which is hopefully the right path. <laughs> Whew, blown a bit today. You know, sometimes you get a day where all of a sudden your second wind kicks in, and you think, "Oh, great!" Uh, I'm waiting for my first wind to kick in yet, so hopefully it won't be too long. 
and looking all the way over there to the Scarfell Massive! I don't know why I keep doing that. I won't care, every time I do it, I lose about 10 subscribers. I may regret saying this, but I'm 10 subscribers away from 3,000. And, uh, oh God, already I can hear people looking for the unsubscribe button. So I would like to say a big thank you to everybody that has subscribed. All the people that like, all the people that leave a comment, all the people that actually watch the video all the way through, it is very much appreciated. Something I just don't take for granted, I do appreciate it. So I want to say a big thank you very much. I'm going to have a good break here because this view, oh dear me, I didn't show it to you. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Oh, what a view. Not a breath of wind, full sun, and uh, it did say 25 degrees, so all, all that breeze, oh yes, keep going, keep going, nearly at the top there now, and uh, good break up there, unusual for me I know, but uh, oh that wind, oh, so for the third time, top of Great Gable, 899 meters just under 3,000 feet and it feels good to be back up here again in my opinion the best summit in the whole of the lake district so I'm making very slow progress coming down here I met a guy he was going up as I was coming down he's been up to the top of the summit and then turned round come back and overtook us thankfully behind a fence although I did say <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah and you well that's walk us up anyway and it's moments like this when you just stood by yourself where you're just so grateful one to be here and two just to be alive to enjoy it <sighs> look at that oh yes what a gorgeous sight that is. Film here as well. Mrs. Metal Man being a little bit off colour, so I thought I'd uh, a treat her to a, a night away bed breakfast and four course evening meal. And funny enough, it seems to have done the trick. So welcome to the very, very prestigious Five star Broad Oaks Country House Hotel. While I've been here, I took a self portrait from the Instagram. <laughs> it was just a photograph, I wasn't going, I don't want to put anybody off their lunch. I just got off the train from hell. I have never ever been on a train that's so packed before. Wow. I have never ever seen Whitby so busy before and I've been coming here for about 30 years. So, the calm after the storm and wow what a storm it's been what a very wonderful summer hill fall a hermit actually lived behind summer hill falls rather him than me i don't mind a visit but i'm fuzzy living here how well major how amazing is that So you can see why the uh, kayakers like to come down here. I put me the two subscribers. They're walking up to High Force. Seen one of my videos before where I've been to High Force. And said, wouldn't it be funny if we bumped into Alan Metal Man? 
five minutes later, they did. <laughs> Hopefully I wasn't too much of a disappointment. I do get round about 75 subscribers, new subscribers, every month. And yeah, I know, amazing, isn't it? <laughs> so the sun is starting to burn off the low mist on Dermot Water. And got all the ice. Now I have been swimming in there before with my son. <laughs> wow, what a hidden gem this has turned out to be. I'm loving it. Quick bite to eat, and I'll be heading back. I'm loving it. <laughs> if you've enjoyed the video, I really would appreciate a big thumbs up. And uh, if you want to see more days like this, why not click on that subscribe button? But I'll tell you something, it won't be too long before I'm back out again. Cheers. Let's take it slow, where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be?